It's Jackie Quist reporting. Well, Michael J. Fox has suffered from Parkinson's disease for years. So has Muhammad Ali and John Cornell, best known as Paul Hogan's sidekick, Strop. Now, there's a surgical procedure that dramatically changes the lives of people with Parkinson's, Tourette syndrome, even depression and eating disorders. Laura Sparks reports the change can virtually happen at the flick of a switch. Turn me on, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so this is with it off. Which is a big quickly. difference there. Yeah. Like you were hitting your face a second ago. Now it's the yeah. control. Yeah. So it literally, you switch it on and off and it, and it works. That's, yeah. that, that seems to be the case. It's life-changing, high-tech, non-invasive brain surgery. In some ways it's a small miracle. In, in some ways the patients feel like that. With just the flick of a switch, disabling jerky body movements disappear. Felt the device come on, yeah. and it's, yeah, I, I feel like I have more ability. I can't believe it. I can't. <laughs> Restoring normality to the lives of people disabled by body tremors. This is going to change my world. What will this open up for you? A new life. I'll completely turn the page. It's given me more confidence in, in, in everyday life. It's called deep brain stimulation, originally used on Parkinson's disease sufferers, but now for other movement disorders like Tourette's. Remember Jamie Furlonger and his amazing transformation last year. Your arm's not twitching. You're not clearing your throat. Your head's not twitching. How does that feel? Bloody beautiful. And now this radical surgery is being used for epilepsy and psychiatric conditions like depression, obsessive compulsive disorder and eating disorders. The brain uh, essentially functions as a building which has a number of different circuits in it. And we're trying to look at interrupting or modulating the flow of um, activity through various areas of those circuits. 22-year-old Aaron Dowling has lived with this debilitating shake in his left arm most of his life after he was hit by a car while crossing the road at just eight years old. The tremor was very, yeah, very hard to deal with, especially going through bullying in, in, in school. And it hasn't got any better in adulthood. People don't understand uh, what I'm going through in having a tremor with this disability. He tried all of these medications, he tried everything, nothing had worked and so we suggested to Aaron that we could look at doing this procedure. No. It was a lifeline for Aaron. His saviours, neurosurgeon associate professor Richard Bittar and neurologist Dr Steve Tish. How does that feel? A wire electrode is inserted into the part of Aaron's brain doctors think cause his tremors. It's connected to wires that run down the neck to a battery implanted in the chest. It allows us to, to deliver this ongoing electrical pulse. So it really gives us a very exact um, way of tuning the brain and trying to uh, reduce the patient's um, symptoms. As soon as it was activated, I felt a, a sense of being relieved of difficulty and, and that I had more control in my left arm. Nice I to meet you. You too. <laughs> do you know what? I couldn't even do that Is that right? before it was whack, whack, whack. Nadine Jabrail was just 31 when she was struck down with multiple sclerosis. A professional dancer, she's now left in a wheelchair. Nadine's body was also racked with body tremors, a side effect of the cruel disease. Her husband Zaya and son Jake were devastated. You know, it was really grim the way it was. I was just so disabled. Then Nadine heard about deep brain stimulation. It was a glimmer of hope. This is Nadine before the operation trying to carry out neurological tests Dr Tish asks her to do. As neatly and accurately as you can, putting your finger right on Sissy's finger, back to your chin. When I could see how terrible things had become at that stage, I thought I really have 
no choice. Reach out and touch my hand. Fine. The both side. Okay. In the operation, the doctors decided to only focus on Nadine's right side of the body. The change was immediate. He was shocked. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it when my hand was out and still. This is the device that we use to turn Nadine on and off. Oh, it's a bit robotic, isn't it? It is robotic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you just have a look under Barney here. Foreman. That's the battery. This is where the battery Can, is. Do you mind okay. if I... Yeah, just have a it's look. It's just under your skin. Just under oh, the skin. Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah, and if you look down the side of the neck... long time Nadine, look at me. Heal. See this? Feel it. Just run your finger on there. That's the wire. That's the wire. While the operation won't help Nadine's MS, it has stopped the uncontrollable shakes in her right arm. And the doctors are now waiting a few months before they do her left side. I couldn't do any of this at all. Just simple things. Don't take this. Wiping yourself on the toilet. You know, independence, just confidence. Going from what we came to to now, it has been, it has been a blessing. There's this glow in her face that she lost prior to that. And uh, it's, it's like a candle. You switched it on, it's back on again. There's my nose, yeah. there's my forehead, there's my mouth. <laughs> Just simply an amazing story, isn't it? That was Laura Sparks reporting, and you'll find more information about that on our website. Well, we're being told it's safe to fly again. Some airlines.